This was a meeting between the two big spenders of English football. Ewood Park had been rebuilt with Jack Walker's millions when Blackburn were on their way to the Premier League title in 1995. Now it was Chelsea and Roman Abramovich who had a seemingly endless supply of money. Just above the drop zone, Blackburn were in need of three points, but they were missing several players, including Lorenzo Amoruso, Craig Short and Barry Ferguson. There was, however, a Rovers debut for Michael Gray, newly signed from Sunderland, and Scott Parker was the latest Chelsea acquisition to be given his first start. He'd arrived from Charlton. Former Blackburn winger Damien Duff was injured, so Frank Lampard played out wide for Claudio Ranieri. Emmanuel Petit was back after four months on the sidelines. Chelsea were chasing Manchester United and Arsenal in the title race. It was time for the big signings to start showing their value. Your commentator is Ian Crocker. It's Blackburn Rovers who get us off and running. And Ewood Park in the Barclay Card English Premier League. Blackburn three points off the drop zone at the moment. They're a little too close for comfort. You would think that they wouldn't become too embroiled in a relegation battle. But having said that, a few teams have thought that before and get dragged into it. And there is always one team that does seem to be really dragged into it. As for Chelsea, well, they have other matters on their mind, of course. The top half of the table and the top three in the table is what they are all about. John Terry hobbled back, injured from a training break in La Manga this week, but fit to start. Terry, Chelsea's match winner last week at Scarborough when Emmanuel Petit made his return from injury four months out. Petit will know that when everyone's fit, he might be well down the midfield pecking order. Floyd has a fan. Felt that he should have got that. But it is a Blackburn throw. Michael Gray on his Rovers debut. Glenn Johnson sliding in, conceding the free kick. Foul on Jonathan Douglas, who's getting a little run in the side at the moment. Clear contact from Johnson, who was actually the very first signing of the Abramovich era. Brett Emerton's cross is a real cracker! Oh, what a save! What a save from Kudicini as Blackburn threatened to open the scoring. The delivery was delightful for Brett Emerton. Now Cole and York looking to combine. Douglas very nearly found a way to goal then. Gray's cross, not bad either. And Blackburn have scored through Gary Flickroft. What a sensational start for Rovers as they look to move away from the drop zone. Having already forced Kudicini into an excellent save, Blackburn came back for more. And Flickroft was on hand after Emerton had headed it back across and it's already Blackburn Rovers 1 Chelsea 0 that was the chance for Jonathan Douglas that Kudicini saved dramatically but uh, a minute or so later Grace Cross not back Gary Flickroft to pounce. Michael Gray warned by the fans that there was a man on. The man was Mutu, who has it now. Here's Lampard. Hasselbank trying to get there. But Marcus Babel sorting him out. Hasselbank's corner. Frantic defending from Blackburn. Makaleli returning it to Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Inviting. Nudged away though.
Mutu, the Romanian, has three goals in his last three games. After a barren spell, Mutu looking to turn provider here, and it was Makaleli coming in. Would have been a collector's item that. Claude Makaleli hasn't scored a league goal since he was at Celta Vigo four and a half years ago. Mutu's cross, though. Makaleli showing why he hasn't scored a league goal for four and a half years, perhaps. Mutu might just latch onto this. And Lucas Neal with an excellent block prevented the Romanian. Was good defending this. Two guy. Gray. Intercepted by Glenn Johnson. Now Hasselbank. Makaleli. Wayne Bridge. Parker. That would have been some story on his debut, but it was straight at Brad Friedel. And he wasn't about to be troubled. Comfortable for the keeper. Parker, 23 now. He really has been uh, left out of the picture at Charlton over the last couple of weeks. Amid the rumours of the move that has now happened to Chelsea. Hasselbank. And we've seen him score a few screamers in his time in English football. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Who could soon, well who will soon, join an elite band of... Strikers who've scored 100 goals in the Premier League. Hasselbank currently on 98. That goal from Fleckcroft, only the 10th that Chelsea have conceded on their travels. They've only lost twice on the road and not very far on the road on those occasions, both in London, Arsenal and Chelsea, uh, Charlton. Hasselbank now turns it back and it's in from Lampard. Chelsea respond. Frank Lampard, one of their main men, one of their most consistent performers. But credit here to Hasselbank and Mutu for their supporting roles. Hasselbank spotting the run from Lampard and in off the post. And it's 1-1. Another careless from Andy Todd, but Lucas Neal bailed him out, and now Brett Emerton. It's an entertaining encounter, this. Frank Lampard. Scott Parker. Taking on two guy. Oh, and two guy nearly, nearly pulled him down then. And there's an almighty tussle as he closed in towards the box. Graham Sunes' side pegged back after their promising start. Although, to be fair, it had probably been coming from Chelsea. They had controlled a large part of the game. His opposite number today, Claudio Ranieri. Gray. Almost half an hour play. Blackburn one, Chelsea one. Quick prof now for two guy. Across for Lucas Neal. Neal taking on Petit. John Terry meets the cross. Oh, Wainbridge did it though. And Andy Cole. Able to find a way to go. 
The threat was snuffed out. It was Neil once again. Who sent it back across. But Pudicini claims the corner. Nice throw, though. There's a bit too much on it for Mutu's liking. Flag up. A frustrated look across from Dwight York. Not really the player that he was at Manchester United. 32 now. Six trophies in his four years at Old Trafford. Most of them very big trophies. Wayne Bridge. Inviting! And the Hasselbank had a very good chance and he's fuming with himself because the quality of service was there from Bridge. The end product, not quite, from Hasselbank. But there's an invitation. But he got on top of it rather, Hasselbank. Johnson. Parker chasing. For a moment it looked like he might just be in. Here's the Turk 2 guy. Oh, that's going to go to Emmanuel Petit. And Lampard's in again. Chelsea have turned it round. And both goals have come from Frank Lampard. Well, Roman Abramovich is all smiles. But uh, it was... A poor one, really, for Blackburn here. The pass from two guy of all people let Petit in. What a clever pass that was from him to pick out Frank Lampard. And from then on in, you kind of knew what was coming. And Frank Lampard is in double figures for the season now, but he offers this team so much more than just goals, of course. No flag this time for Andy Cole. And he drilled it across and Kudicini couldn't hold on and Dwight York couldn't quite sneak in. Well, Cole sent this in with some venom. And it skidded away from uh, Kudicini's gloves. Into the mix it goes, but it's going to be easy for Carlo Cudicini, and that is half-time. Blackburn made a perfect start when Gary Flitcroft pounced very early on, but they've only kept one clean sheet here this season, and they weren't about to start improving on that. Not with Frank Lampard around, he responded with a double for Chelsea. Half-time in the Barclay Card English Premier League at Ewood Park. It's Blackburn Rovers 1, Chelsea 2. Chelsea will fill, they are still in the title reckoning as they start the second half. Michael Gray making his Blackburn debut, lets that go. Chelsea third in the league, still in touch with Manchester United and Arsenal. They meet Arsenal in the FA Cup again, they meet Stuttgart in the Champions League. One way or another it has the makings of a very special season for the millionaires of Chelsea. But they've not won anything yet. Petit making his return to David Chelsea after four months out injured. Parker given his debut. Johnson coming in at right back and Mutu coming in up front. The Tinker Man tinkering again from the side that played at Scarborough last week. Lampard. Go, 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 go. 
Kalili. Into right winger. And finding Hasselbank. He might just be in here. And if he's not, he too nearly was. He's trying to make too good a job of the finish on Brian Mutu. Bradford rather relieved to survive this. Mutu unable to find the target. Has to go down as a very decent chance for Chelsea. Helped on by Makaleli. Now Hasselbank, and here's Glenn Johnson. Johnson takes it up again. Intercepted though by the German Marcus Babel, who's given it away. And Mutu has skipped over Babel, and he's chipped it just wide of Brad Friedel's goal. It would have been delightful from the Romanian hotshot, Adrian Mutu. And Marcus Babel would have been casting a glance backwards to see what happened here. And a sigh of relief as it whistled past the post from Mutu. He's a popular player here, Paul Gallagher, 19-year-old Scott, who has actually started quite a few games lately. Alan Mann's also coming on, he'll take the place of Jonathan Douglas on the left of midfield, and Dwight York is going to be replaced by Gallagher. Alan Mann recently recalled from a loan spell at Ipswich because of Blackburn's injury problems. They do have one or two key players missing, the likes of Stephen Reid and David Thompson and Barry Ferguson, all absent, all sidelined from their midfield at the moment. Here's Emerton. And he's forced his way in. Gallagher. Pick out Andy Cole, it's come as far as Michael Gray. Alan Mann. Oh, it's in from Gallagher. Blackburn a level. And in fact, the goal has been ruled out for offside. And he was as well. Gallagher had strayed. To an offside position and was busy celebrating his goal as indeed were most at Edward Park. Bridge, Parker. And the first card of the game is going to be shown here. The look says it all from two guys. Two guy getting a yellow card. And Chelsea getting a free kick. And of course, it's being moved forward. Ten yards as well for the uh, show of descent. And just to add to Blackburn's woes, they've had a goal ruled out for offside. Hasselbank sizing this opportunity up. Well, they were probably expecting Hasselbank to have a hit, and Brad Friedel had to turn it over from Adrian Mutu. Glenn Johnson. Makaleli. Here's Gronkia. This could be ominous for Blackburn, and Rampard, did it go over the line? Well, he was denied a hat-trick. Gronkiar's delivery, Lampard's header, and Brad Friedel clawing it out.
Mario Melkier's arrival at some right back has seen Glenn Johnson push forward. Chelsea are closing in on what would be a vital victory in their quest to keep in touch with Manchester United and Arsenal. United top of the table at the moment, but Arsenal home to Manchester City. Kicking off at Highbury in around about 20 minutes or so. Two guy. Oh, it's come through. And Paul Gallagher gets a goal that counts this time. And Blackburn have saved themselves near the end, it seems. He was not to be denied. Had a goal ruled out for offside. But Chelsea let that one go all the way through. And they might just have let the game go as well. And Ewood Park's rising star does make the score sheet after all. It's Blackburn 2, Chelsea 2. And there's still time for a winner yet, but who from? Because here's Glenn Johnson all of a sudden. And Marcus Babel having to turn it behind for a corner. An intriguing end to this contest. And now, it's Blackburn who are under pressure. Adrian Mutu goes long towards John Terry. Ben Johnson. Oh, he's done so well! Oh, he's done incredibly well! Glenn Johnson with a sensational strike. And it doesn't look like Blackburn have saved themselves after all, because Chelsea are back in front. Scorer for Chelsea, Glenn Johnson. Well, this was special. Look at that from Johnson. Look at that. And look at that. An unlikely scorer, Glenn Johnson is the hero, and Chelsea go 3-2 up in style. Well, Graham Souness will be absolutely gutted after his team had clawed themselves level. And the seconds now. Being eaten down by Jesper Gronkia, but Jonsson just on! Unable to finish off Blackburn completely. That would have been that, but there is still time, not much of it, but a little. Chelsea would nearly double the number of goal attempts for Blackburn. Probably deserving of a victory here today. Out by Brett Emerton on Jesper Gronkia. And Chelsea are nearly there. Glenn Johnson with his third goal for Chelsea. May well have won this game for them. Then again, Emerton on the prowl, but across comes John Terry. Now Makaleli. The three minutes have added on time and nearly up. Gronkia sent back by Todd. Lucas Neal gets the throw. Blackburn need to get it into the box and quick, very quick. It's all over and it's an important victory this for Chelsea as they keep in touch at the top. Claudio Ranieri's side fell behind early on but Frank Lampard scored twice. It looked like Gallagher had saved the day for Blackburn, but underneath that mound of players, Glenn Johnson, Lampard's former West Ham teammate, came up with a spectacular winner just after Gallagher's equaliser. It finishes in the Barclay Card English Premier League at Ewood Park. Blackburn Rovers 2, Chelsea 3.
An important win for Chelsea, a thoroughly professional performance and what a winner from Glenn Johnson. Champions have to have that winning habit and so often that means grabbing the points in the final minute. But come the end of the season, Chelsea will run us up to Arsenal and not champions. A disappointing season for Blackburn ended with them in 15th.